Good morning, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You got your girl Sabrina right here. And I'm going to just give you guys a few more moments to jump on. See, eat me some almonds. Hi, Terry. Hi, Ashley. How are you? Hi, Damien. Well, listen, guys. Like and share this video. Like and share this video. Hi, Brandon. How are you? Hey, Brandon. Like and share this video. I'm eating some almonds, Shamika. I love almonds. But anyway, guys, let me tell you something. I'm really like almost in tears right now because... I don't know if y'all been watching my um, Facebook, but I was in um, Dallas. Hey, Reggie, Rose. Um, I was in Dallas for the A&MP 2018, and it was just amazing. It was just amazing, and it almost brings me to tears because, hi, Nay, how are you? Hi, Tremarcus. Like and share this video. It brings me to tears because I've had a lot of friends. I've had family. And I know that I have, I have expressed my dreams and goals to my family and friends. Hi, Quota, how are you? And they just have simply not been able to help me accomplish my dreams and goals. And so right now, I just have so much gratitude in my heart. I met nice people like Terry M M M Mullen. I met um, Maureen. You know, I met Jennifer. You know, I met... Um, um, Cedric and Robert and um, Jim and just so many people, ladies and gentlemen. And I was able to sit with the number one female top earner of the company, Miss Nina Moore. I was even able to, you know, share a room with her. That's big, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking about a top earner millionaire woman allowed Sabrina to share a room with her and for her to pour into me, for her to pray and for us to worship together. Y'all, that's big. I've had people in my life for years, friends I went to high school with, you know, family who don't even want to share a room with you, don't even want to pray with you, don't even want to give you resources, don't even want to encourage you. And Austin um, Zuloff and Peter Jensen and Miss Nina Mora, they pour into me. Over this weekend, ladies and gentlemen, they poured into me. Hi, Jacqueline. How are you? And they made me believe in me again. You know, life happens. Life happens. And it makes you feel like you're nothing. It makes you feel like you can't do anything. You know, I was a stripper, ladies and gentlemen. I was a dancer. And then my baby father, but the father of my child went to prison. He's still in prison right now. Been in prison for 12 years. And so can you imagine how I feel? Can you imagine the big mistake I feel like I made? Because I grew up in a two-parent home. I grew up in a two-parent home. I still have my, my, my father right here today in my life, every single day of my life. And so I felt horrible as a woman feeling like, damn, what type of life did I give my daughter for her to grow up without a father? What type of decision did I make? The reason why that I'm here, what type of decision did I make? And so I used to tear myself up about that decision, ladies and gentlemen, but being in the event this weekend Help me know that. Hi, Carlton. Like and share this video that I am not my past. My past does not define me. I'm beautiful. I'm successful. I'm rich. I'm prosperous. I'm wealthy. I'm loved by God. I'm chosen by God. That greatness lies inside of me. And so for people who do not even know me, know my history like that, but can tell me that they see greatness in me. They can give me the resources to be the first millionaire in my family, to be the first successful, real successful woman in my family. That is huge, ladies and gentlemen. And so I'm almost in tears right now with just gratitude and 
I'm trying not to cry with just so much gratitude and just thankful for this profession that I'm in. Just thankful for the people that I've met. Just thankful. I'm glad you're being that person to others that those people were to you. Thank you. Um, thank you, um, Brandon. Thank you, Terry. Yes, this profession is amazing. We met so many amazing people. And so the way they poured at me and the, the way that they made me believe that I can do being half anything. And then they sit there and they give you a resource and all you have to do a system. And all you have to do is follow that system. If all you would do is just read the books. If all you would do is just stay connected in the, in the right environment. If all you would do is just follow the system. What would they tell you to do? We can win, guys. We can win, ladies and gentlemen. And so you just have to believe in yourself. Hi, Jamarvis. You just have to believe in yourself. And so I want to be, hi, Tammy. I want to be that person that everyone is to me. They, they've given me a blueprint. They're showing me how to be successful. They're helping me believe in myself. And so... I want you guys to know that greatness lies in you, that you can do, be, and have whatever you want. And so if it takes for you to move out of the city that you're in, if it takes for you to go to a mall that you feel like you can't afford just to look at the outfits, go to the Louis Vuitton store, go to the Gucci store, go, what do you want to wear? What car do you want to drive? Go to that car lot, get the feeling, because ladies and gentlemen, you can have your heart desires, but you don't know how to dream because of life. Hi, Robert. You don't know how to dream because life has knocked you down. Life has probably told you that you can't do it. You probably have become a, 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 a statistic. Hi, Anthony Snipes. You probably, you know, are surrounded by small minds, people who own welfare, people who are settling in their relationships, people who are settling in their jobs. And if you surround yourself with that, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? You will become that. So you have to surround yourself with people who have more, who are doing big things and that'll help you to dream. And I promise you, when you start dreaming and you start seeing yourself as that millionaire, or you start seeing yourself as that thousandaire, or you start seeing yourself as that billionaire or that trillionaire, you start seeing yourself of that man and woman that you want to become, then guess what? It has no choice choice but to manifest itself but you got to be able to see it you got to be able to feel it you got to be able to know you know a lot of people don't have what they want because they don't even know what they want they're not they haven't even been to exposed to greater so if you want greater ladies and gentlemen comment greater in the comment box comment greater right now in the comment box hi arlene how um khadijah how are you comment greater if you want greater in your life all right Come and dream big if you want to dream big in your life because you simply do not know what you do not know. You know, I don't fault my family. I don't fight. I don't um I don't fight my friends. I don't I don't fault them for not helping me. You know why? Because they didn't know. They didn't know. They can't help me if they are not dreaming big. At my um, mother-daughter brunch, I asked a young woman, I said, what do you want? And she said, you know, I just want to make sure I give my daughter everything that she needs. Hi, Danica. Hi, Jarrell. I just want to give my daughter the best life. I don't have, I have everything, you know, as long as I can get up and go to work and, and I'm good. I want to give my daughter the very best. It's nothing wrong with that. But ladies and gentlemen, just because you have a child, just because you have children, just because, you know, life has kicked you down. Hi, Kelly. Does not mean you don't have to dream big. You are able to dream of having a jet. You are able to dream of having a, I dream of having a helicopter pad on top of my home. So when I want to land in my helicopter, it's on the top of my home. I, I dream about my private jet. I don't want to fly commercial anymore. I don't want to fly. I don't want to have to go through TSA. I want to be able to bring what the hell I want on my plane when I fly. And so that is, and I would have never been able to dream like that had I not been around people who have private jets. 
I would not be able to dream about. I always wanted a four bedroom house with a with a two car garage, and you know that's what I want to live in. And so guess what? I live in a four bedroom house with a two car garage. All right. I always wanted a Mercedes Benz or a BMW because that's what I saw people with. But then now I've been hanging around people with Rolls Royces, people with you know Bentleys, people with Astro Martins, people with buying Rolexes and Britleys and people. You know, riding around in private jets that they own, all right? People who have paid off their homes that cost a million dollars. I would have never thought about being debt-free, living in a million-dollar home. Never. I thought just having a four-bedroom home, paying mortgage for the 30 years was the life. But now I have been exposed to something bigger and better. People who own their homes, who live in million plus dollar homes, own their home. They don't pay a mortgage. People driving Rolls Royces do not have a car note. They own their vehicle. Those are the things that I have been exposed to and people are showing me how to make it happen. And so I'm in tears of joy and gratitude right now because I know that if it's possible for them, it's possible for me. And so it just saddens me that people do not believe in themselves. It saddens me that people will sit around mediocrity. They will sit around people who are not dreaming, who are okay with being in their current situation. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Chaos. Hi, Dexter. You, we are just sitting around people pouring out our hearts to them. You know, we, we are telling them about our dreams and goals and they do not have a solution. And so ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know to get around solution oriented people, people who can give you a solution for your problem. If you want to write a book, get around somebody who know how to publish a book. I know how to publish books. If you want to open up a hair salon, get around people who have done it. Ask the right questions. If you want to, you know, build a major network marketing business, I decided to hang around Austin Zuloff and Nina Moore and Larry Thompson and Johnny Green and Denise Lee and all these phenomenal people who have built these huge network marketing profession organizations. I start connecting with them and hanging around with them because those are the things I want. I had to stop hanging around people who do not have what I want because now years I've had friends for 10 years. I've had these same dreams for 10 years and they have not manifested. Why? Because I'm hanging around people who cannot help me. And so ladies and gentlemen, get a, get you a mentor, connect with somebody that has what you want. This is why I think differently and watch every, my every move, my conversation, and wake up with a winning mindset. I receive your message. Thank you, Shamika. We have to make a conscious, conscious decision to think about what we are thinking about. Because every second of the day, you are manifesting. You are manifesting. <clears throat> when you go into the store and you feel like you can't afford it, you're manifesting lack. When you are gossiping about someone, when you are talking about someone, you are manifesting lack. You know why? Because it's an abundance of everything. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get off this live right now because I'm going on and on and on. Hey, Jack. Hi, Al. Like and share this video. Comment greater. If you want greater, comment dream big. If you're ready to dream big, ladies and gentlemen, because at the end of the day, that's what it's about. You cannot have what you do not see. Hi, Cedric. And I want to thank Cedric too. Cedric is another one of my network marketing professionals who helped me dream bigger. I would have never thought, you know, earning $8,000 a week was even possible had he not showed me his check. All right. Had he's not showed me his check. I would have never known that I could be myself had I not known Cedric, because he's he he him he's himself. If he goes into a, a, a meeting, if he want to wear his sunglasses at nighttime, he does. Whatever he want to say, he says it. He's he, he's himself. I always thought I had to be this person that everybody else wanted me to be. I thought I had to hi Greg. I thought I had to be this person that everybody else wanted me to be. But Cedric showed me that I can be Sabrina. I can be Sabrina. 
If I want to dress the way I want to dress, do it. Because at the end of the day, the people that like me are going to like me anyway. And the people who don't, are forget it. Y'all know what I really want to say. Forget it. If they really don't like me, they're not going to like me anyway. So just be you. And so Cedric, thank you. Thank you for that. You know, thank you. And, and, and I, what, maybe three or four years, four years now that I've known him. But I've been around other people, friends and family. Who want me to be something else? Oh, Sabrina, maybe you shouldn't use those cuss words. Maybe you shouldn't wear long hair. Maybe you shouldn't wear those long eyelashes. You know, all this stuff. If you want to win, you can't wear long eyelashes. People don't want you to wear on long eyelashes or long hair. You know, you got to stop wearing that, that green lipstick or that red lipstick. Wear something more neutral so everybody will like you. No. So thank you, Cedric. Thank you. You showed me that in this profession, I can be myself and still win. All right. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I just have a heart of gratitude right now. I just I'm just so excited about the information that I heard over the weekend. That's right. I'm just so excited about the information that I heard over the weekend. I'm excited to be connected around people who really want to see me win. Hey, Keisha. I'm excited a, a bit to be around people who have the blueprint and all I have to do is follow it. That's it. It's not that hard, ladies and gentlemen, but you got to stop praying to God and asking God for opportunity, asking God for resources, asking God for people in your life. And then when I show up, when Cedric and I show up, you let the opportunity pass you by. Oh, I don't have the money. Oh, my child is. Oh, I, I don't have the time. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen. If, if not this, then what? If not this, then what? If you don't change your life now, then when? Because if you keep waiting for the right time, the right time is going to come when you're dead. The right time will come when you're laying in your casting. That's when the right time going to come. You're going to always have bills. You're going to always have a car note. You're going to always have a child that may get sick. You're going to always have that. So why not go ahead and do something different today, ladies and gentlemen? You're going to always have that, all right? You're allowing opportunities to pass you by. Yes, Robert, because you waiting on the right time. It's no right time. The right time is now. I won't wait on my check to come. And then when your check come, you go spend it on something else. You still don't have the money, right? And so you don't want to keep doing that, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. If your family and friends could help you, then you would be successful already. Get a mentor. Let me work with you. Let who Cedric work with you. Let Terry work with you. I, I, I posted a lot of mentors um, that I was around at the event, pick one, follow them, just do something. What life will happen, but what you do within your living is what matters the most. What matters the most is what you say you are in your mind. What matters the most is your imagination, being able to take your mind off of what you do not have and put it on what you want. That's what matters. All right, because you can change your life in an instantly if you stop looking at your bank account as negative or not enough and say, you know what? I have more than enough. Thank you, God, for what I have. Thank you for this food that I'm eating. Thank you for these clothes that I'm wearing. Thank you that I have my heart desires. Thank you. Thank you. Just start thanking God. Thank you. Hey, Tanisha, how are you? So ladies and gentlemen, I mean, you got to be in, you got to put yourself in a position, in a state of mind that you already have it. How does it feel for you to already have it? And if you do that, it will come. All right. It will come. And so I love you guys. I truly believe that you deserve to win. I want you to believe that you deserve to win. Point at yourself and say, I deserve to win. 
I deserve to win. I don't deserve to keep living paycheck to paycheck. I don't deserve to keep going to a dead end job that I don't like. I don't deserve to be in this relationship with a man or a woman I do not love or I'm not happy with. I do not deserve to sleep in this bed that's damn near on the floor. I do not deserve to drive this raggedy ass car. I do not deserve to keep living like this. I do not deserve to keep shopping at Walmart. Why I can't go to Neiman's Markets? Why I can't go to uh to uh, the Gucci store? Why I can't go to the Louis Vuitton store? You can do it, guys. You can do it. But you got to believe that you can do it. You got to stop telling everybody how bad your life is. You got to stop telling everybody about what you don't have and put it in your mind that you already have it. I'm already rich. I'm already a millionaire. Every time I turn the key to get into my house, I say, Ooh, look at my mansion. Every time I get in my Mercedes or my BMW, I get in like it's my Rolls Royce. I'm ready for the next level now. And so I do it with the mind frame that it's already here. I mean, Hey, and there's nothing wrong with Walmart. I'm just saying, Hey, some people want more. And so if you want more, then start speaking what you deserve. I love TJ Maxx. I probably will forever shop at TJ Maxx because TJ Maxx has all the name brand stuff. All right. And it looks good and it's quality. So I'm not saying Walmart is not good. But I'm just saying that some people get tired. You know, I got tired of eating noodles every day. I got tired of just eating stuff that I could afford. And so now I go eat lobsters. There's nothing wrong with eating noodles. It's not, it's nothing wrong with, you know, eating whatever you eat. But when you get money and you able to finally do something that you weren't able to do, then guess what? You do something a little different. I used to always buy Payless shoes. I used to always buy these 1099 shoes. So guess what? Now that I have a little extra money, I don't want my feet hurting. I'm going to buy me some more expensive shoes. I'm, nothing wrong with pay less. Hey, I looked good. But now that I can do that, I'm going to go do what I really want to do. Right. And so that's what it is. You, yes, Keish, you just said something so powerful. We want we we want a, 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 a Bentley, but we got a Kia mindset. We, we want a, a Louis Vuitton. We want Louis Vuitton, but we got a Walmart mindset. All right. You got to change it. We got to change it. It's nothing wrong with it. You know, I used to go buy cheap hair. I go buy a little $20 wig every, every other week. But now that I can go buy me some $500 bundles, <laughs> I'm wearing these bundles. Because I was tired of the hair shedding every time I brushed it. I was tired of having to replace my hair every other day. Greetings, Felicia, my sister. So, I mean, I was tired. I go buy a little cheap outfit. I wash it. It shrink up. It got holes in it for me washing it. But now I can go buy some quality stuff and keep it forever. And so that's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, Shamika. That's right. Chain stores. We got to... <laughs> Robbie, you so funny. I don't allow none shedding. Well, you wouldn't have liked me a few years ago because, baby, as soon as I would, I'd be scared to brush my hair because I used to have hair all in somebody, it's on somebody's flow. As soon as I did like this, it was all on the flow. <laughs> so I'd be in somebody's restaurant. I'd be in somebody's restaurant doing like this, and it'd be all over the place. So I, I was to be ashamed. I used to be ashamed. I used to be ashamed, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm not now because I finally able to do. <laughs> oh, yes. All, man, all, for all the players just know. Yes. No more rainbow. No more Walmart. Right. No more pay less. No more $20 wigs. That's right. Right. And so I simply, and I only... I would have never been able to dream like this guy if I would have not been hanging around people with red bottoms and, and we sleeping. Right, when you do better, you get better. When you know better, you get better.
when you know better. Because you, when you start getting exposed to this stuff and it feels so good to walk on, like being in the a &P, to being able to stay in that beautiful hotel. I used to only want to stay in the hotels like the Comfort Inn. Or the Holiday Inn. Nothing wrong with the Holiday Inn or the Comfort Inn. But I've always wanted to stay in a penthouse suite. I've always wanted to see the view at the top. To see the, the big tall buildings. I used to, I love to look at the, the chandeliers in the hotel rooms now. Like that's what I, I would have never known that had I not been exposed to that, ladies and gentlemen. So now that I know better, I can do better. And so I want to encourage you once today, the whole purpose of this video is just to encourage you today to get around people that really want to see you win. Get around people that have their blueprint to winning. Get around people that help you dream bigger. All right? That help you dream bigger because people just don't know what they don't know. They don't know how to do it, so they can't show you how to do it. They've never experienced Right. That's right. Don't short yourself. They've never experienced of having greater. So they don't know that greater is out there. So you got to expose yourself. Yes. So ladies and gentlemen, I truly believe that you deserve to win. Speak those affirmations over yourself. These are the ones that I use. You can use them if you want. Um, and it is simply goes like this. I will listen to the Holy Spirit within. I will believe and not doubt. I will create and not destroy. I am a force for good. I defy the odds. I set new standards. I am healthy. I am happy. I am humble. I am loved by God. I am chosen by God. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment shall be condemned. I am a winner. I was created to win. And I deserve to win. All right. So those are my affirmations, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I didn't speak the ones that I like. Hey, I'm the head and not the tail. I'm above and not beneath. I'm the lender and not the barrier. You can go out and say, I am a money making machine. All right. I'm a money making machine. I am a walking vault. Everything I touch turns to gold. Money surrounds me. Abundance surrounds me. People that love and care about me always are connected to me. I am a millionaire magnet. Keep speaking those things. Hey, Tiffany, how you doing? Go back and watch the replay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and close this out now. Type in dream big. Type in greater if you're ready for greater. Get around people that want to see you win. Go to youdeservetowin.net. If you want to take my course that helps you manifest the dream, it's going to show you how to manifest the dream. So go to you deserve to win.net, grab the course, guys. Um, inbox me if you want to know um how. Go go to my inbox and, and um if you want to know how you can get into the business that I'm in, and I can show you my blueprint. It may not be for you, but this is another option for you. All right. It may not be for you, but at least it's something that you can look at. You can take it, to look at the information and and see if it's for you. OK. All right. So inbox me if you want to know about the business that I'm in. All right. If you want to know about the business that I'm in, inbox me. And like I said, it may not be for you. But you can at least take a look at the information and see if it is and if it's not. I would love to work with you. Because everything attached to me wins. I would love to work with you. All right. And so inbox me and make sure we connect with each other so I can talk with you and I can share the information with you. If you want to take my You Deserve to Win course, go to you deserve to win.net. It's actually Manifest the Dream course. It's a course that shows you how to manifest your dreams. All right. Hey, Kiki, it shows you how to manifest your dreams. So it's an online course. It's really inexpensive. All right. And so... I love you guys. Hey, Tanita. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Manifest your dreams, guys. Go to you deserve to win.net. Get in my inbox so we can connect and I can give you the business that I'm in and hopefully it can help you win. I don't know, but I'm going to go now. Oh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go to my YouTube and subscribe to my channel. Okay. I got a YouTube channel going on now. I'm putting more videos out there. 
And so I want you guys to subscribe. All right. Show me some love. Show me some love. All right. I love you all. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye winners.